match commissioner at a match is usually confused because a lot of people do not even see the essence of having a match commissioner. Even though having somebody facilitating the uh, activities that happen before, during and after the game actually puts the team, it puts the officiating officials in check, it puts spectators, it puts fans in check. A lot of people still do not see the essence of having match commissioners at the various venues. But of course, the GFA uses match commissioners for matches that are recognized by the GFA. It is rather unfortunate that at the juvenile level where uh, the players and the administrators are supposed to get it right, a lot of times we get confused at that level. With us here this afternoon as the president of, or the chairman, if I should say, of Match Commissioners Association of Ghana, Mr. Paul Ayamba, to be throwing more light of this, I mean, on this training program for us to appreciate the essence of having this seminar in the first place. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good you are welcome to Touchline Sports. Thank you very much. Okay. It's my privilege. Okay, sir. Um, why the need to put Match Commissioners together at a venue to take them through loss of the game and the new amendments? Yeah, thank you for the opportunity and uh, thank you for having me on your program. The essence of uh, these courses we are organizing is, as it were, to re-equip match commissioners for the oncoming assignment after Anand's expose. After Anand's expose, we have been dormant for over one year. And a lot of things have changed right from FIFA to CAF and then therefore to GFA. And we cannot afford to use mediocre match commissioners for the oncoming season with all the improvements that there is in. So it has become necessary for us to re-equip our match commissioners because the changes in the laws of the game has been tremendous. And then since we are the people who would, I mean, give the adequate report to GFA according to the performance of the referees in the matches that they officiate, we need to be a little bit above the referees as far as knowledge of the game is concerned. And the laws of the game have changed so tremendously. And if we don't bring our people up to scratch, we will never be able to do good reporting and we will never be able to serve the purpose for which my commissioners do to GFA. So this is the reason why we are trying our best within the shortest possible time given us to bring our match commissioners to scratch so that at least we will be well assault when we are doing the report. Is it proper to have a match um, without a match commissioner? Well, yes, there can be matches going on without match commissioners. But what the disadvantage there is that you will not get independent reporting. You will not get uh, the adequate neutral observer. You will not get the individual who is not affiliated in any way to the, uh, the clubs and then the rest to give you up to start report. So cases where the match commissioner is not able to make it or a match commissioner is not appointed, you can be sure that most of the time those, the report from those matches are scanty and it does not serve the purpose of the What should be the normal posturing of a match commissioner at a pre-match, I mean during inspection, during the game and even after the game? Because there are instances where match commissioners, excuse me to say, go about bossing their weight on club officials, wanting to create an impression that they are the masters of that particular game. Any match commissioner who thinks that he goes to a match center to flex his muscles or to throw his weight about because he is called the match commissioner is perhaps not a good match commissioner. A good match commissioner at the match center is the father of all, is the one who is understanding, the one who is able to study the situation and bring about solutions if there are problems, and you should be prepared to listen to all stakeholders at the center during that period of your 
worship as your commissioner. Can you should have a humble heart, you should have a humble spirit, you should have a knowledgeable head, and then you should be accommodating to all and sundry. And you need the appropriate advice. Finally, how should club officials treat match commissioners? What should be the reception when they go to commission matches? All we ask for as match commissioners is to recognize our role. Nothing more. We don't want any special treatment. Just recognize that this referee is sent by FA and this match commissioner is also sent by FA. And we are there for different roles. We are there for different roles and therefore, I mean, we don't expect any special I mean, uh, treatment. But we only respect, we expect respect and then uh, cordiality as far as we deal with each other. All right, thank you, sir. So if you didn't see the need to have a match commissioner at a match, or probably you felt that match commissioners were not important after this explanation from the National Chairman of Match Commissioners Association of Ghana, I'm sure you will have a meeting and appreciate more the essence of having match commissioners at your venue. This has been Touchline Sports reporting from the Tamale Sports Stadium, where the three regions of the North, as we used to know, Upper East Region, Upper West Region, and Northern Region came together to go through a two-day workshop that actually is supposed to equip them with the requisite knowledge to improve their duties as match commissioners at venues where matches are played. My name is Humu Kusumitayu. Thank you very much for watching today's edition.